Hello, welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined us today. We have two very special guests again with us, which uh, we'll introduce in just a couple of minutes. But please, while we're going through the program, call the prayer lines. I'm telling you, we've seen people raised from the dead. We've seen people walk out of wheelchairs, people getting healed from Parkinson's disease, hearing, seeing. God is really doing great things. Divorce is being Un, you know, their marriage is being healed, mm -hmm. and you know, don't go through things alone. 307 637 pray, it's so easy. That's 7729, and let us stand in agreement with you. Don't go through things alone. Mm -hmm. You may be depressed today, maybe you lost a child, maybe there's so many losses right now. You may have lost a house in fire, or there's all mm -hmm. kinds of things going on right now. Call us so we can agree with you and you can see a breakthrough. We want to we want to see a breakthrough with you. We sincerely go to the Lord with your prayer request. With that said, welcome viewers to God's View. I'm Charlene Back to Mary, one of your God's View hosts. This is Jennifer Griffin, have Lana Gardner. And then right over here, mm -hmm. this is our new co-host, everybody, Priscilla Pruitt. And she is Mrs. Yeah. International. And um, today with us is back with her is her husband, Sean. Sean, thank you thank for you. coming, coming, thank coming. Let me shake your hand. I'm so and thankful. And we're here. becoming such close friends so quickly. It's like we've known each other for years. That's what God does when he connects. We kept yeah. praying, us girls, and we didn't. I I didn't search because I knew God was going to bring us somebody as a host. We were looking for a year. We didn't let you know that. And we just had a bunch of different little hosts on and, yeah. you know, people that God said, you know, use and give them a mm -hmm. platform. But we were searching and I trusted God. I just kept saying, okay, God, you're going to send him. And he yes. just divinely he did. sent her. I mean, I didn't, I didn't know her. She didn't know me. I didn't even know the guy who sent her to me. <laughs> I mean, but God, God spoke to the guy. Yes. And he contacted me on a personal message. I mean, a really great, crazy story, but a God connection. Everything in my life has been really divine. Amen. When God brings somebody in my life, it's not like, I mean, it's like this, like almost angel sing or something. It's this divine connection. So, and that's what happened with them. But with that said, you know, uh, we're so glad that they're they're back with us, and they're going to tell you all about themselves and their story and their journey, and hopefully, it's going to encourage you. You know, everybody can get at tops and bam, be at the bottom, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then, but God will always bring you back, and there's always purpose and reason in everything in your life journey. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, I always tell people when they're going through the wilderness and maybe something's all been taken away or you don't understand, remember this. If you ever remember anything, God's not trying to take something from you. He's getting something to Amen. you. That's and right. he's changing, yeah. you know, exactly. scenery, mm -hmm. your heart, every, who knows what for mm -hmm. this brand new start. He knows, he knows what's next. So yeah. with that said, please help us welcome back to the program. Uh, of course, Miss Priscilla Pruitt, Miss International and our new co-host and her husband, Sean. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. We're so, so glad, I know, we're so glad you guys are here. Okay, so uh, you just wanna roll and I mean, what's really cool, you guys got six kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yes, Amazing. we do. Yeah. Big Brady Bunch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so tell us, uh, you know, how's your journey been? What's God doing? And, and all that kind of stuff, you know? You, you know, know it's, it, it's been incredible. I mean, the, God has opened up so many doors. Just the fact that we're here, yeah. I mean, it is God ordained. Yeah, and, it really was. And, and prophecies are happening. I mean, we were spoken to eight years ago, we we're going to be on television. Mm -hmm. ah. Look at us now. <laughs> That's like, so awesome. And, and yeah. it was just a miracle how we got here because Priscilla became Mrs. International. Big deal, right? Yeah. And I wanted Big to help. Deal, right? yeah. I wanted to. It is. <laughs> it is. And of course, being, you know, I wanted to help promote my wife. Absolutely. So, and I was kind of stressed about it because it's like, it's, it's a, you know, I, I kind of took it as a burden because I really wanted to help her. Yes. And I remember like it was yesterday, I went out to the woods. It was pitch black. The stars looked beautiful. And I said, God, I want to help my wife. I want to help promote her. And I pointed at the stars and I said, you know, God, these are the same stars that you showed Abraham. And right when I did that, 
there was a shooting star wow. and I was like whoa it followed his finger I was like <laughs> wow my faith skyrocketed and I felt just the spirit of God just come over me and he said a name and I called him and he says you know it's funny you called me I was thinking about you and so this is the and this one is the guy who contacted me contacted Bonnie you Good when you contact. pointed at the stars and said help yes. me promote Mrs. International and he's the chaplain for the um, Minnesota <sighs> Governor. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Wow. So amazing. God is good. Any yeah, contact? You called him. God told you to call him. He contacts me, and I don't know how. And he didn't even know what I did. It was <laughs> like it's. It was a really divine wow. connection yes. that she's Amen. our new co-host. Mm -hmm. Amen. Really divine. Wow. Uh huh. That's exciting. Wow. And it's a, another great story is how we even got to Wyoming. Mm -hmm. Do you know that story yet? No. <laughs> We just, we've only so known each other. Know. Know. <laughs> we gotta learn. <laughs> well, do you wanna tell her? You want me to tell Go ahead. Okay, you tell so it. we, um, in 2008, we kinda had a Job experience, is what I like to call it, where yes. we had done really well. We were at the height of our career, and then the stock market and everything just plummeted along with us mm -hmm. in our business. And so um, we trusted God, and we were starting to rebuild ourselves, and we were renting this house in Texas, and we wanted to buy the house. And so we called the owners and we said, hey, we're interested in buying your house. We made them a good offer. And they were like, actually, we're thinking about moving back in in 30 days. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, and so we're like, what? And so it was a real, like, trusting God, like, getting on our knees and just believing, Lord, there's something you're going to do here. But months before that, God had already started to fix our hearts towards Wyoming. And so Sean, he was giving us dreams, oh dreams my. of a northern Wyoming. state. And I was thinking, okay, is this Alaska? But it doesn't look like See, Alaska. See, Sean was raised in Alaska, so he thought it was Alaska. Because oh, where shit. we live, it's all big, you know, pine trees and lots of snow and mountainous. They were Dallas. Yeah. But you know, what, one thing we've... we've well, no, in Newcastle. No, like Newca well, Newcastle. Yeah. 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 But one thing we've learned is that when God starts calling us, he changes our desires. Mm -hmm. Yes. He, he yes. it's not like so many people s always say this like I can't believe you made that big move. You <laughs> left everything. Yeah. Wow. And I'm like, you know, don't be too impressed <laughs> yeah. because you know, everyone likes ice cream, right? You have desire for it. It's not that <laughs> difficult. But That's when God good. calls you to a new country, yeah. he gives you the desire for it. That's yes. True. He it's makes true. it yeah. easy. And then doesn't true. the grace Anything. lift for where you were where at? You are, you I mean, like I noticed it. that when God's telling you to do something, it's like um, the old place, it, the grace starts really lifting, and if you're not Amen. obedient, it's like and then oh, there's trouble. Like, Amen. Exactly. Then that you get all these relationships so right. are going yes. wrong. Everything goes bad because you're not supposed to be there anymore. Exactly. Amen. And, it's, Amen. and it's, it's really a good thing. I mean, yes. because it moves you forward. Exactly. And he was closing those doors, and so Amen. every time we kept finding this, these homes in Texas, we'd find these homes, and then it'd be snatched from underneath us. <laughs> and God would close the doors, and so finally, I remember I was like on my bed just bawling. I was like, Lord, I seriously can't go through this again. We had to live with his family when we lost everything for 10 months. I was like, I can't be homeless again with my kids. I can't, I can't do this. And we had a new baby. Adonai Grace was just a baby at the time. And so I had my tablet on my lap and I was like, Lord, you are going to show me our house. I'm going to scroll up on realtor.com and that's the house. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to understand, we're kind of spontaneous like that. That's yes, how, I am too. I, that's I, how we picked our honeymoon. We spun a globe and God picked it. And it was <laughs> the <laughs> best honeymoon Where ever. New Zealand. Oh, for oh, <laughs> yeah. That's great. And so we trusted God and I was like, okay, I'm going to do this. And it didn't happen. So what happened is... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so a message from Facebook popped up and I was like, China. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, I know, China. I'd be okay with that. She but would. a message popped up from Facebook, and it was somebody I didn't recognize, so I opened up the picture to see who it was. And she was in front of this huge sign that said, Welcome to Wyoming. Oh, my. Mm. And I was like, yeah, can't be. <laughs> and so I remember uh, thinking, okay, maybe, we'll see. So that same day, I go out to Ross, and I was in line at Ross in Texas. You know, it's always packed, lots of people. Oh, so I, I love Ross. Ross. <laughs> I know, we love Ross too. We're right? Ross people. We like Ross. We'll get along with her just Yay. fine. And, and that's, we're, we're giving her a big plug right now. Yes, yes. Very smart with your money. Uh, yeah. yeah. So anyhow, I was buying a prayer blanket there, and um, I was in this long line to check out, and the lady in front of me was the daughter of the lady in front of her. 
So her mother turns around to her daughter, and I'm right over her daughter's shoulder, and it looks like she's talking to me. And she's going, I am just so tired of Texas and this traffic and these lines and yada, yada, yada. She goes, I just ready to go back to Wyoming, 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 Wyoming. <laughs> oh. And it looked like she was talking to me because I'm right over her daughter's shoulder and I'm going like this. And she probably thinks, she probably thinks I'm nuts. And so I'm going like this. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, tell me more. And so she's like, you want to know about Wyoming? And I was like, yes, tell me more. And she's like, well, I lived in Casper. It's a great place to raise your kids. And she goes on and on. And I was like, wow, God's really telling me something about Wyoming. Wow. Well, hold up. <laughs> it gets even crazy. Wow. There's more? There's oh more. God. So then I go home. And my kids are watching Backyard Against. Sean was watching them. And they're watching Backyard Against. And they are watching this entire episode in the entire Backyard Against episode. This is a preschool TV show. The entire episode was about them being Wyoming cowboys. Whoa. <laughs> so God was speaking to, to me. He was speaking to my kids. But now, how is going to speak to my Texan husband, yeah. who his whole family is from Texas? Uh -huh. You know, how is that going to happen? So I was like, Lord, how are you going to tell my husband this, that we're supposed to move to Wyoming? <laughs> <laughs> so that evening, I'm in bed, and I'm kind of sweating. Uh, I'm going to tell my husband. Mm -hmm. kind of nervous. And so I'm like, okay, honey, I have something to tell you. And I was like, please don't hate me, but I feel like God wants us to move to Wyoming. <laughs> <laughs> and he about flies off the bed, and he's like, Priscilla, I've been having dreams yeah. about Wyoming. Wow. Oh. I have. Oh. I have. And wow. I was so excited to know that she wanted to go. Yeah. Is that and so you exactly? hadn't said anything about no. your dreams. No. no. I mean, wow. I have, but we didn't know. That was. You didn't know where it was. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You have dreams. You're like, okay, what is this about? Yeah, this. Dreams he thought it was Alaska. Alaska. Yeah. 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 <laughs> wow. 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 Yeah. That's so amazing. that's how God moved our hearts for Wyoming. And the funny thing is we never came here first. We didn't come here and go check it out. We moved. And moved. the first time we ever stepped foot on Wyoming land was the day we moved here. It was all blind faith. It was. Wow. wow. I know. It was. Well, yes. you guys like adventure, it sounds like to me. <laughs> and then it's so funny, as soon as I connect like, with you yes. from that guy that, that I don't know. <laughs> so wild, just so wild. Thank you, Lonnie. I go, thank yeah, you. thank you, Lonnie. You know? and I, he, he sent us some That's prayers fine. along the way, and he's I thanked awesome. him. Yeah, he's a sweet guy. Yeah. And I, I was like, wow, okay. And I go, he goes, I, I think you really need to hook up with this lady. And I, I, I believe God has something for both of you. You're wow. going to be a blessing to them. They're going to be a blessing to you. Wow. And he says, I really believe you guys. I mean, God has spoken to me, and you guys need to get connected. And I said, okay, well, I wouldn't friended you on Facebook. And then we talked. All that. And then you're saying, we love Cheyenne. We're, we're going to move to Cheyenne. Yeah. I go, you are? I go, well, <laughs> we need a new co-host. You know, and then that oh, night, something. God told me, don't even try her out. Bring her on board. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm so crazy to me. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And so, because, you know, we're yeah. like, you know, well, you want to try out? You know, because you never know. Yeah. yeah really. Yeah. yeah, she hears from God, you know. And so it was Amen. great. It she was does. great, you know. I believe it. Yeah, and mm -hmm. here we all sit, and you guys are in Wyoming and Cheyenne. <laughs> yes, and our whole family is in Texas. We didn't know anyone here. We didn't have any family. That was like God. us, my it husband was, and I. It was all God. Yeah, and it Amen. was our promised land. It was just such a blessing to move here. And I mean, we left everybody, everything, everybody, every family. Wow. And yeah, we never looked back. And uh, but you know, and that was Michigan. Can you imagine? It's, it's Texas, Michigan, they're all jammed with traffic takes you three hours to get anywhere yes. here you're gonna be able to get across town it's just wonderful it's wonderful yes. you can get in and out of a restaurant in an hour <laughs> that's, great. that's great it's gonna be good so anyways go ahead <laughs> but you know god gave us every sign every dream every i mean it was so obvious but Praise we learned so much from that move because mm -hmm. you know at that time we were still uh new to the whole you know, m making the move of Abraham, get out of thy country. Yeah. That was a big deal for us. It was. Wow. Yeah. But it was a big deal. We learned so much from that move. And then when we knew that we knew that we're called to Newcastle and we were called to minister to the youth of that community and we saw the lives change, we just knew we heard God. Mm -hmm. And this time, as we're leaving Newcastle to Wyoming, or sorry, Newcastle to Cheyenne, mm -hmm. It became much easier. It's like mm -hmm. we pick up on it. Yes. Yeah. Pick up on it the always little, does. Yeah. And it and and every door just opened wide open. Exactly. Our house, 
the finances, I mean, the opportunities. Boom. I mean, it was like bam. I mean, yes. everything uh-huh. is just lining up, and it's just incredible. It's all God. It was mm-hmm. immediate. It was every door. I mean, when God opens, He lines something out for you. He opens every door, so it's a direct path. Amen. Mm-hmm. To His final destination for you. It is. It's but, true. But, you know, Go ahead. You took that one small step. Amen. I was going to say. Yes. That's what, yeah, yes. What are you going to say? I was. You were right in line with Amen. that. Amen. That, that's what it takes. That's what Amen. it takes. Mm-hmm. I'm sure that there's someone out here right now that's that God is moving on their heart and telling them that yes. it's Go. time to do move. it. Go. And, and <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I just feel just do like it. God is saying, move. Yeah, yeah. Man. One small take the first step. step. Yeah. Simply, uh, you know, what is, what is the old saying? Uh, start simply, but simply start. Yeah. And Amen. Yeah, that's yeah. good. And we, yes. have to, we have to prioritize. Yeah. Take one foot in front of the other and say, okay, here's my list of things to do today. But the most important thing is i got to get ready for Wyoming. Yes. yes. That's awesome. Because we could keep putting mm-hmm. it off, putting it off. And you mentioned mm-hmm. Abraham. And the wonderful mm-hmm. thing is that, that when God told Abraham, to take his son. Oh, the gosh. next I morning. Mm. Can you imagine? I mean, he, we didn't, you know, and I'm guilty of it too. We must mm. never procrastinate mm. with God because we're just missing out on the greatest adventure yeah. of our lives. Yes. Amen. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. You know, and I want to add something to that. I, I really feel this in my mm-hmm. heart. Mm-hmm. You know, you're never going to have everything you need mm-hmm. before you step out in God's That's plan for truth. you. Exactly. God opens up doors that no man can mm-hmm. shut. And before we mm-hmm. left Cheyenne, we had we, we went, went went without income for about 14 months. We were investing heavily in our company and we got down to zero. Mm-hmm. And the moment we stepped out and looked at the house and we made the plans to move forward with this, the finances showed up. Yes. And so when, when, when you chase after God and His kingdom and His plan, yeah. finances chase after you. Mm-hmm. And I truly believe this is yes. a time where, where, mm-hmm. where Joshua's are raising up to get us to the promised land. Mm-hmm. This is a time for us to cross over the Jordan yes. mm-hmm. into our promised land. Yes. Mm-hmm. This is the time of, of prosperity. This is the time mm-hmm. of yes. restoration. Yeah, mm-hmm. This is a time of restoring mm-hmm. family. Mm-hmm. Yes. And, but if you don't take that first step, because faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Mm-hmm. You're never going to have that car you need or that money in the bank account or everything you need to make that first step. Because mm-hmm. if you base it on your circumstances, you'll never move. Oh, mm-hmm. that is so You'll good. never and, move. And that's the truth. And, and there's a trust factor there that you're, you're showing God. You know, I, if you're telling me this, then I, I am stepping out in trust with you. And, and God exactly. loves that when we step out. And we go, okay, I trust you. Whoa, it's scary. You know? Yes, yes. But. There's many times where you just have you have to do it. Mm-hmm. I mean, we did it with this TV station. I mean, yeah, all the way along. Amen. Exactly. And along. your story really spoke to my heart. Yes. Miracles after he was miracles. In tears. When you were telling us that story, you had no idea, but you were ministering yeah. to oh, us good. like you yes. wouldn't yes. believe. See, never even know it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it was... <laughs> It was ministering to me big time. Oh, mm-hmm. that's awesome. Well, God is faithful. Yeah. And you know, when we came to Wyoming, we didn't know what God was doing. We didn't know why necessarily, mm-hmm. but it turned out that he called us to the number one county for suicides in the U.S. at the time. Mm-hmm. In 2012, when we came to Wyoming, Wyoming was yeah. the number one state for suicide. Yes. And our county yeah. was the number one county. Amen. And wow. predominantly in youth, where God called us to. Wow. Amen. So we started working with the youth immediately, and we would get calls almost daily, that somebody who was suicidal, and we'd talk them out of it. And we haven't had a call for, I would say, at least a year. That's yeah. awesome. And so it was wow. God's telling us, like, look, Everything shifted. Yeah. Your your mission here is done. Yeah. Yes. Oh, thank God you did what you did because yeah. you know, you know saved I mean, a lot of kids. Yeah. I mean, saved seriously. a lot of kids' lives. Yeah. 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 Yes. yeah. God is so Amen. good. And you know what's amazing is that when He calls us to do something, He gives us what He what we need. Mm-hmm. He gave us a mantle, an anointing mm-hmm. to minister to these children. Amen. We're doing Amen. things we've never done before. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. And the anointing came. And it allowed us to do what we've called. It gave us the wisdom to do what we what we were supposed yes. to do in that town. That's what awesome. do you What do you think builds a successful marriage? Prayer, <laughs> trust, communication, and having a one plus one equals three is what I call it. You can't have a marriage unless God is in the center of it. Mm-hmm. It can't be one and one. It Amen. has to be the three of you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 
Go ahead. Oh, well, I was just going to say that, that I heard some statistics the other day about the fact that, you know, it's about 50-50 now in divorce and so forth, and even in the church, it's close. But for those who pray, mm. divorce is one in a thousand thirty-four. Wow! Yeah, yeah man. One. I Isn't love that. that. I mean, does prayer amazing. work? Have to, Amen. Yes. 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 I'm you know, have to write a blog about I, that. I know. That's, that's good. awesome. <laughs> you know, when when Priscilla was being elevated and lifted up, a lot of men can't handle their wives being promoted. Yes. Oh, yeah. It that's is. That's my next question. It is. It is so <laughs> wow, hard. Wow, you guys are in tune. <laughs> I, you know, this is an incredible group. I mean, it's like you hit it. I mean, it's yes. amazing. Uh, this is exciting. <laughs> it's easy to talk. Amen. Yes. You know, we don't know nothing's wrong, yeah. and we're just going. Amen. Mm -hmm. And it was. It was hard for me when Priscilla first oh. became Mrs. Wyoming. It was a struggle. It was yeah. very. I was very insecure. Like it. I realized that there are things in me that that I never realized because you know. There's these good-looking guys putting their armor. Hey, it's Mrs. Wyoming. You want a picture? <laughs> and then um, she became Mrs. International. And you took the next step, and it's like she's Ooh. traveling everywhere. I'm stuck with the kids. Yeah. <laughs> she she's Mom. in Miami with all these beautiful people, being just. But really, you know, God. What what made all the difference is that I would have my uh, quiet time with, with Christ. Yes. Mm -hmm. And God would speak to my heart and minister to me, and He would say. He would tell me the things, the issues that I have. Mm. Yeah. And I'd be like, okay. Let's so okay. you got healing through that, which is really Amen. awesome because things come up. You don't, like you said, don't know they seem there. The God insecurities. Mm -hmm. Amen. Stuff, huh? And exactly. then you're able to minister a lot differently. When you, exactly. Amen. You know. mm -hmm. And, it, you know, it's made me a better person. I mean, I was here and God took me here. That's yeah. awesome. That'll really help Amen. somebody today. Yeah. It will help somebody. Yeah. Because yeah. it is. It's like when things are happening... And we, you know, because it's, it's funny because you went out to the stars and said, God, help me promote my wife, Mrs. International. Amen. How can I do that? Well, God did it. He started he did. messing with your heart. Yeah. And isn't it funny? We, we asked this question and then you get the, you oh, get yeah. the answer. You get but the if stuff. I was insecure mm -hmm. and I was jealous, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would have never asked God to promote yeah. my wife. Exactly. Right. Your never. heart was crying out to the living God with a pure heart. Amen. You know, sometimes, you know, along life's journey, we're imperfect, but he counts us perfect along the way if our heart is just surrendered and wants to say, God, make us be everything you want us Amen. to be. You know, I, um, Andy and I, our prayer is, you know, let us be everything you died for us Amen. to be. I don't want to be this you know, mm. sorry mess or whatever and not do what God, you know, I mean, he died for us and just let us be what we're supposed to be. Amen. You know, uh, everything that you died for us to be, I yeah. want to be that, mm. you know. Amen. I'm thinking, of course we're not perfect. But. You know, sometimes we can be rich, famous, successful, beautiful, but if we're alone, we're still alone. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing like, you know, yeah. bonding together and working for something and having a vision and a goal. Yeah. 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 And you were talking about, uh, and, and going back to the kids, the teenagers, and, and you talked about, you know, how you didn't, it sounds like you weren't schooled in that, but, but God, by the Holy Spirit, brought it to you. And I, I think yes. that's the mm -hmm. most powerful thing that you Amen. can have because you're mm -hmm. hearing from heaven right then and there, mm -hmm. and you're mm -hmm. being obedient, now. and you're seeing, mm -hmm. you know, the mantle come down for that for you guys. And so that's exciting. I think people need to realize yeah. they don't have to, if God calls you to something, it doesn't mean you have to go years and years of, you know, this training, that training. Yeah. A lot of times that ruins you anyway. <laughs> you know, it's yes. funny because we went through that with this. I was in my woman's group and I told them about this opportunity and um, I had spoken to Lonnie at the time and I was telling them every reason why I wasn't, you know, good enough for this, mm -hmm. why I, you know, wasn't eloquent in my speech and <laughs> all these things. And, yeah, but and they were like, when she was coming on the yeah. TV show. Yeah. And they're like, Aww. but that's why you're real. And I was like, and yeah. I cry that's too much, and I'm going to be crying all the time. <laughs> you know what? We have to have real, and you know, yes, transparency and being real sets people free. Yes. And that's what Amen. it comes down to. Yes. We have too much phony baloney. Mm -hmm. We have too many people that aren't being real. They're Amen. looking perfect, and they're a mess when they exactly. get out from those. You know, and we, we, we're real. Sometimes papers yeah. go flying. We don't, <laughs> you know, we don't read teleprompters <laughs> ever. No, no, I don't no. even, you know, I'm just always going by the seat of my pants. And Sometimes <laughs> we laugh until we cry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and you know what? But, but people like it. that. They, 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 you know, there's been quite a few men that have called and said, I just love when you guys laugh. Wow. You know, because God puts 
an anointing on it, not because mm -hmm. we're anybody or anything up here. We so know that more than anybody. Mm -hmm. We're yeah. humbled, honored. We're just glad God's using us, exactly. you know, in such a great way to reach his people for the gospel of Jesus Christ. We remember who it is. But it is fun when the Holy Spirit laughs and there's such an anointing that it really causes other people to call the prayer lines. Mm -hmm. And they said, we just love it when you guys laugh. And there's not enough on it because everybody wants to be so perfect and say mm -hmm. the right thing, have all the questions ready. We, we don't have anything ready. We don't we know what we're joy, doing. You know, yeah. joy needs to be there. So. We have no clue what we're doing <laughs> just it. for your information. <laughs> oh. We let the Holy Spirit lead. Yes, yeah. we let the he Holy Spirit lead. Do. He mm -hmm. does everything. It's Him. It's His anointing. We acknowledge Amen. Him. It's all Him. You're so we, right. It, it is yeah. His anointing. And to add uh, to what you say, you know, that was an issue that I had. I was afraid to be to step up that, but it's God's anointing, yeah. and He opens those there doors. You and you Amen. know what? That's perfect. Amen. I am so glad that was perfect. We all go, whoops, Amen. two minutes. <laughs> and Sean was just starting to tell a story, but he got it. We're going, yes. Ah, yes. <laughs> thank you so much. It was it's a great you. program. It's going to yes. help people. Yeah. We didn't get to uh, have you pray for them, but you know what? Listen, listen, listen. If you don't know Jesus, that's what we're about here. And you may be saying, you know, I've, I've gotten so many prayer calls. I want what you guys have. Well, it's Jesus. Amen. We have nothing but Jesus and the Holy Spirit. And you can have him and then get baptized in the Holy Spirit. And mm -hmm. especially those, you know, we've had, oh, so many prostitutes. Uh, prisoners and everybody, listen to me. Don't wait to clean up. God wants you just the way he is. You'll say, oh, well, he don't want me. Yes, he does want you. Mm -hmm. He died while we were yet sinners. I was a sinner. And people say, yeah, some silly people will tell you, oh, well, he doesn't speak to sinners. Well, if he didn't, I wouldn't be saved. Right. None of us would That's be right. saved yeah. if he didn't exactly. talk to sinners because we were all mm -hmm. sinners. Amen. Please just say, Jesus, I believe you're the son of God. Forgive me of my sin. Come into my heart, be the Lord of my life. I believe with my heart. I confess with my mouth. Let those two merge together that you're the son of the living God, yes. that you died on a cross and that you're going to come back. And I want to go. I want to see yeah. these ladies in heaven. Yes. We want to see you there. Amen. We really do. Oh, and yeah. then just say, God, baptize me in the Holy Spirit with your fire. Because that baptism of the Holy Spirit will give you the um, just a great revelation of his word and help you understand. And Because he's the one who leads and guides into all truth. Jesus left him here for that very purpose and he'll always lead you back to the father mm -hmm. in jesus oh we love you but jesus loves you more oh Amen. if you said that prayer today make sure you call the prayer lines and or somebody go tell somebody go to our website a uh, 15 dollars love gift or more will send you this wonderful god's view anointing oil has a little pearl in it because you're a great pearl has the little rose cap for the rose of sharon and plus it's fabulous and who doesn't need anointing oil and that'll help us keep coming into your home each week and going around the world for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Oh, we love you. But I can tell you what, Jesus loves you more. It's only goodbye for today. Mwah. Go to www.godsviewtvshows.com to view all God's View TV show hosts, books, and CDs. Joshua and Jennifer Griffin's music CDs. Go to www.godsviewtvshows.com 